Some of the most used tools in Modeler can be found under the Modify tab, and they are Move, Rotate, and Stretch. And there's different, there's various forms of, of translate, rotate, and transform, or move, rotate, and stretch. There's several different tools. And the rotate and transform tools, some of those have different action centers that you can take advantage of. And uh, these tools would be rotate, twist, stretch, size, taper, taper constrain, pull, and pull evenly. And I thought what we could do is we could take a look at these different modes for Action Center. And they're located down here on the bottom menu under Modes. And there's uh, four to choose from. So I thought we could take a look at all four. And we'll start with the most common one in the default setting, which is Action Center Mouse. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go to four windows. And the way Action Center Mouse works, I'm just going to grab the Rotate tool. And no matter where I put the cursor, that's going to be my action center. So if I want at the tip of the tail, I just place my cursor down here at the tip of the tail, left click and drag, and it's going to rotate around where I click. Uh, this is my favorite mode to work in because I feel like I'm actually grabbing onto uh, a piece of geometry and rotating. Okay. And so no matter where I put the cursor, if I put it at the knee, it's going to rotate around that selection. Okay, And that, again, it's not just limited to rotate. It's limited to the, to the tools that I, uh, I mentioned earlier. Okay, And so that's Action Center. This is this one, Action Center Mouse. If we change it to Action Center Origin, no matter where I put the cursor, it's going to, I can, I'm going to put it here and I'm going to click and drag, but it's going to rotate around the origin. And remember, the origin is right here. It's at 0, 0, 0, X0, Y0, and Z0. So this, this can be handy if, say I've got the, uh, the little T-Rex here and I wanted to size the character down, but I wanted to maintain that the feet are touching on um, 0 and the Y. I can just grab the size tool and with the mode set to action center origin know that I can left click and drag anywhere and his feet no matter how small I make him or how big I make him his feet are going to be in the same place because I've got them at the origin okay and so that's using the action center origin if I use the action center pivot if I go over to view my pivot point would be at the um, as would be at the origin if I go to Y for rotate it's gonna look like it's just around the origin well because that's where the pivot is but if I go over to the pivot tool and place my pivot say at the top of the head and then go to Y for rotate no matter where I put my cursor it's gonna rotate around that pivot point so say you had a robot and you had all the joints set up in different layers and you wanted to um, test out the rotation of, say, the shoulder joint, well, you could base it off of the pivot point. But know that when you have the mode set to action center pivot, it's going to use the first layer's pivot point. You can't decide which layer. It's going to be the first layer's pivot point that's selected. Okay, And the last uh, option here is action center selection and what that does is that takes the bounding box of your of whatever is selected and remember in lightwave if nothing is selected everything is selected and it's going to pivot around there so if i was looking at the the bounding box of this it's going to be right around the hip that it's going to rotate around now one useful uh use for this would be say we had um this eye right here if I select the eye, and actually I'm going to turn symmetry off and just select this eye, and I wanted to rotate uh, this eye around, but I didn't want it to pop out of socket, well, the nice thing is, it with selection, it's going to pick the center of the selection. So no matter where I put my cursor, I'll put it off over here, it's going to rotate in socket because it's picking the center point of that selection. So that could come in really handy. Uh, for making sure that the eye doesn't pop out of socket whenever I rotate it, but um, you know, but I get to rotate it based off of the center point of that selection. 
So that's just a quick look. I always make sure whenever I'm done using uh, one of the different modes that I drop it back to the default, which is, which is Action Center Mouse, which is what I use the majority of the time. Uh, but I have found that uh, each one of the modes comes in really handy at some point, so it's good to, to know what each one of those does. So again, the modes are found at the bottom of the, the interface on the bottom menu, and you can choose between mouse, origin, pivot, and selection.